Hey everyone! Okay, so this is a very casual video if you cannot tell, um, but I was hanging out with my roommate and um, I decided that I wanted to get this video out of the way before she left in a couple days. I'm going back to Canada. But you're coming back. Um, I think that I've mentioned several times on my video briefly, like I haven't gone into a lot of detail about me being vegan or vegetarian and I decided that what I wanted to do was kind of make a video about a lot of just general information about being vegetarian or vegan in mm, Tokyo. Japan. But specifically Tokyo because we've lived here like we know kind of like what's been going on here. No, Just for everyone's clarity, in America, I am completely vegan. However, when I travel, I tend to be a little bit more lax with it. While I've been in Japan, I've gone from, at first, being okay with being pescatarian to being vegetarian, and which I still am. However, uh, even when I am vegetarian, I tend to lean more on the side of vegan, if anything. However, Melanie, how many months ago um, did you go vegan again here? Hi. Five months ago, I went vegan. She's also vegan in Canada. Well, after I lived in Thailand, I went vegan, and I found out, like, I realized I'm born in Japan, and mm -hmm. I don't know as much Japanese as I should. Yeah. And now I'm confident, like, I'm confident my Japanese to be vegan. So. Yeah. Well, we both went really quickly away from the pescatarian yeah. part of things because we really didn't like it. No. Yeah. So anyway, I feel like when people come to Japan. Um, I know specifically for me, before I came here, I researched a lot about being vegetarian and vegan there was here. Like nothing. There was nothing. And I'm very yeah. happy to say that especially within the last year, things have been getting a lot better. And I just decided that it's probably best if we sit down and we just like say everything that we know about here, about being vegetarian or vegan. So that mm -hmm. way someone who before they comes to live here long term or even just visiting that you can be well informed to where you should be going um not just restaurants but like grocery stores yes. like vegan grocery stores and like yeah vegan friendly grocery stores and yeah stuff. so that's gonna start. okay so we're gonna start off with vegetarian even when we felt like there was not really anything here for vegetarians or vegans we were still able to do this quite easily so let's start with restaurants if you go to most restaurants a lot of things have meat in it or soups, mm -hmm. have the byproducts and everything. A mm -hmm. lot of things, we what we used to do is we could easily get fried rice without mm -hmm. meat in it, like without chicken. Mm -hmm. Or like we'd get um, edamame. You could get like just plain rice and there's soy sauce. Like you can get veggies and stuff. Like there's a lot of things you can do. You gotta ask because it's the thing. You can't just go there and, and like point at a menu like you would at a vegan restaurant and be like, I yeah. want this and know it's vegan. You have and to I ask, which is if you're not comfortable with your Japanese, can be intimidating. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. With going out to eat, you definitely need to be at least semi-comfortable with using a few key phrases. And they're not that hard. Like, for example, like, nikunashi. Ah, nikunashi to nikunuki. Yeah. And like, if you're asking if something has meat in it, kore niku haitemasu ka? Mm. If you are particular about, like, byproducts in the soup, which I am, which is, again, more leaning towards the vegan side, but that's how I feel personally, um, you can ask about the dashi. Yeah, so you can like specify about that. I do find usually when I go to a place, like there's a place near my school that sells uh, like the rice balls. And um, I would just ask them if there was anything that they had there was that was vegetarian. And they specifically asked me about dashi. They asked me like if dashi is like okay to have like meat byproducts in it. And I told them no. When you go to the convenience store, it's surprisingly a lot of vegan options. Like mm -hmm. I've eaten, I can get ice cream at the convenience store. I can get rice balls. Mm -hmm. You can get certain types of sushi. Mm -hmm. Like like not fish sushi. You know what I mean though. Yeah. And like snacks. Like especially food. like cucumber and like avocado. Yeah. Oh, oh but there's also um mandaro. Inari? Yeah. Oh, some of them surprisingly use like a like a meat oil, like which a meat paste. If you're if you're bothered by the oil, which I am, mm -hmm. you ask in Japanese about the abura. Oh, also there is also some uh, like regular like vegan junk food that's actually like inside the kombini, and I found an article about it, so I'll link that down below as well for you guys, so you can kind of like get an idea about what things junk automatically. Food. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like, a lot of places, um, if they're, like, a bigger chain, they'll actually have an allergy menu, like, an yeah. allergy thing, which yeah. I didn't know about at my workplace. My, my boss is like, hey, we have this. Wait, they do? Yeah. I was wondering that. I was like, I can eat this. I can, I can have the cheesecake. Well, not the cheesecake. No, yeah. Like, yeah. That kind of shock where it's like, so you see something, you're like, I don't know, I can have that. Mm -hmm. So, as for vegetarian food, if you're cooking at home, obviously there's always vegetables, there's fruit, there's tofu. 
Um, on top of that, there is a place that we used to go to a lot when we first got here that specifically the one that we know about is in Ikebukuro, Ikebukuro the but station. they also have one near Shibuya that is like more extensive. And I think yeah. that they even have vegan ice cream there. Ooh. That's Brief so thing. Help. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave links to all these places that we're talking about below so that way you guys can be informed on where they are. On top of that, grocery stores, especially here, soy milk is a really, really big thing. And again, this is going more towards vegan. But for me personally, even as a vegetarian, I prefer soy milk. Um, like, I don't even think that I've had regular milk here at all. Like okay, so now let's talk about vegan. Um, so vegan at restaurants, like regular restaurants, probably the best thing to do is get this app that's called Happy, Happy Cow. Happy Cow. And I mean, it's very popular in many countries. I even used it in America. Same in Canada as well. Yeah. So, but little did I know that actually is still relevant here. Like I did, I did not think that that would be a thing here whatsoever. <sighs> Happy Cow is a app that you can basically go through and you can find nearby restaurants that are either vegetarian Vegan, uh, vegan options, gluten free. Um, like it's basically supposed to be more like just general health based, but it's mostly vegetarians and vegans use it. And the best thing to do, which you just recently found out, if you go to veg options, it'll show you all the restaurants that have like a separate menu for vegans or have vegan options that are like certified or um, like you, if they'll tell you like if you go, you have to state what is like what you consider vegan because. Mm -hmm. I remember going to a Mexican restaurant and the menu said vegan options and I asked the girl, she said, oh, but it's the nachos are fried in the same fryer as the chicken wings. I'm like, well, that's not a vegan, that's, yeah. that's not even vegetarian. And again, this is where you need to be a little bit more in step up in your Japanese to be able to do this or you need to go with someone who knows quite a bit of Japanese. Yeah. Biggest tip though. If people ask you why you don't eat meat, don't tell them you're vegan. Depending, I usually tell them it's an allergy. Honestly, what I usually say, if you don't want to eat meat because you feel bad for them. You like animals, that's all. You just, I'm like, you could tell me that That's all you gotta say. And like, if they say why, you say, So they'll be like, ah, oh, okay, that's, they call it yasashi ne. So it's like, yeah, nice. I mean, you could say allergy, like, when it's just a simple, like, a couple days ago, I saw a menu for ice cream. There was like a soy milk ice cream. I was like, oh, is that vegan? I go up there and like, I ask in Japanese, I'm like, is there any milk products or milk in this? I'm allergic to milk. Because if I said, I feel bad for animals, he's like, what the f*** is milk? Because <laughs> they don't know. So, okay, on top of that, there is a wide range of places that you can go actually for specifically vegan stuff now. There are two grocery stores that, that we, we know, know of. of. One of them is in Shinjuku. Shinjuku, it's also connected to a cafe. It's called Lima Cafe, and it's like a cafe and also a um, grocery store and I went there and I got vegan bread the day when I got a vegan bento I got vegan ice cream they have like an entire section of a bunch of like there's like 40 50 different flavors of ice cream don't get the miso one I feel like that's not a good idea um that that exists miso ice cream yeah don't do it they have vegan meat because I like the taste of meat but I don't eat it for the animals mm -hmm. but they have vegan meat there it's like karage which is like deep fried chicken kind of thing and like mm -hmm. pork cutlets and like croquet croquet Croquettes? Croquettes, yeah, that's it. And yeah. there's another one that is close to Shibuya. Um, it's about one or two stops away. I'll leave the link down below because I don't exactly remember the name of it. Um, I found out about it through Taylor R's YouTube channel. Bless Taylor R. I, it, honestly, if you're going to live here and you're vegan, follow Taylor R's YouTube channel. because or she, Instagram, even? Yeah, but mostly YouTube channel because she literally, like, links everything in our YouTube channel. It's great. Um, I, so we found out about that place and they have vegan cheese. They have um, pizza. They have vegan pizza, which is, to be quite honest, the best vegan gluten-free pizza I've ever had in Japan my entire the, life. The best, a lot of things I've ever had. The best vegan chicken, the best mm -hmm. vegan mac and cheese, mm -hmm. the best vegan ramen. They mm -hmm. had so much of the best. Now, to be quite honest, these vegan things in these, like, grocery stores do tend to be a little bit more expensive. Like, a block of vegan cheese that I found was about, like, $18. Well, the reason being um, for that, though, is because it's not high in demand. But once it's, it's also it's, imported. Yes, but once it starts getting more high in demand, prices can drop. Yes. And, like, it's a thing here now. But it is something that you need to be aware of because if you are going to cook a lot at home and if that's the kind of things that you really want when you're vegan diet, where it's, like, substitutions and stuff like that, you are going to have to pay a little bit more. Well, but at that place, they had, like, vegan, like, veggie burgers, vegan chicken, vegan pasta, um, also gluten-free pasta. I also have a little bit of a gluten sensitivity. 
And of course, this is the moment in time where my camera decides to stop recording right when I start getting to the good stuff is all the vegan, great, amazing food places. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give a little bit of information here on the screen just to kind of give like a little overview on the places that we talked about and our favorite things from it. But as I've been saying, you can just kind of like go into the description bar and look at the places down below. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. There's a couple oh, of different places that have been kind of popping up for vegan ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, specifically two that we know about in particular. I know there's several more, but there is... My favorites in Shinjuku. And it's probably one of the best vegan ice creams that I've ever had. That's so much crazy. so that even like my non-vegetarian, non-vegan friend loves it and would eat it by itself. Like, it's really, really good. And it's not that expensive. It's so creamy and so delicious. Yeah. It's like the soft serve heaven. Like, yeah. just soft serve ice cream. Yeah. And there's also a place in Harajuku. Um, I've, been... I've heard re mixed reviews because you didn't really like it. But well, then Charlotte like... in Japan and... Um, Taylor really liked it. Well, it's not that it's bad. It's good. It's just not like, because I was thinking it'd be like a creamy kind of ice cream. Mm -hmm. It ended up being more like a sorbet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And like, it, it wasn't bad. It's just for the, the money I was paying mm -hmm. and the portion size. And then like the, what I was expecting wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So that might be on my own part too for expecting a different ice cream than it was. There's a couple places around Tokyo that do have vegan options that we know specifically about that necessarily aren't vegan places in general, but they have really, really good vegan options. Mm -hmm. For example, there is a pretty popular uh, curry branch here called Coco House. There's only a couple places here, a few branches that I personally know of that have vegan options. Um, what I know specifically about the Shinjuku one, um, it's really close to Shinjuku Station, so I'll definitely link that one below. And um, that apparently has no animal byproducts in it whatsoever. I thought it was only vegetarian, which is great to know that it's vegan. There's like a new menu saying like the sign. So I'm assuming no animal byproducts also means like eggs and milk. Yeah. There's also a really good place that originally we found out about in Harajuku from Charlotte, Japan. She's also a really good person to follow if you are wanting to be vegan here or vegetarian. She went vegan recently. Yes, but even before that she would make videos about specifically like places that she was going to that had vegan options and it's Probably the best vegan ramen that I've had here. Like, it's not the no, health, it's it's good. not the health one. Like, Tea's Tantan tastes more like it's meant for like being a little bit more healthy. Mm -hmm. like and this place, feel. this place just doesn't even try at all. It's, it's like if you're like you're drunk and you're like, I just want the good ramen. You take the ramen, you eat the ramen. And apparently they have a couple different branches. Um, I know that they have one in Ikebukuro. Apparently they also have one near Shinjuku or maybe Roppongi. I forget. That's two different, completely different I, I know, but I forget which one it is. Oh. It might have it in both, I don't know. Anyway, I'll link their site down below. It might be in Japanese, but if you just turn on your browser to like translate stuff, it'll at least give you like the right direction to go to at least. There's a bunch of burger places everywhere. Like there's just a bunch of restaurants. Oh, what was that place called? Um, Freshness Burger. That's for vegetarians. Yes. Though. Either way, um, it's also a really good option, possibly for people who are just vegetarian. I don't know if they're phasing it out or not, though, because every single time that I've gone recently, the places that I've gone to, they said they don't carry it there anymore. But they haven't said Freshness Burger in total doesn't. Um, there's always some kind of option mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. It's not like you have to go and not eat. Like, I've made do with, like, izakayas, where I actually really like the taste of, like, um, a bowl of rice mixed in with, like, the soft tofu, and you kind of mix it in. It makes it really creamy, and I throw in, like... It sounds really gross, but soy sauce and chili chili powder, and you mix it up, and it's delicious. I've actually had it, and it's really actually pretty it's, good. Uh, it looks like it'd be baby food, but it's delicious. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's about it, everyone. Um, I really think that we've kind of covered, like, everything that we can really think of when it comes to this. Any questions, ask her. Yes, uh, leave your comments down below. So just in general, don't be afraid about coming here if you're a vegetarian or vegan, or if you're living here for an extended period of time and you're worried about not being vegetarian or vegan, you can do it. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.